Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Gross Deutscher Boon Mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Um, as you can see right now, we're playing as Germany and we're in a little bit of a conflict right here, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad and we have some Volga German volunteers arriving from the good old USSR. Today several transports with volunteers have arrived in Hamburg. The men look skinny and were from as young as 16 to as old as 60 years old, but all share the same grim look on their face. Their demeanor only changed when they were greeted by the cheering crowds of onlookers. It's also questionable whether they fight for a cause or just want to escape the old, cold treatise of the homeland. Most of them also never held a gun before, time will tell how valuable their assistance will be, it's appreciated nonetheless. Assign them to the divisions as soon as possible. So this mod gives Germany, I don't know, was it more ways to basically play Germany after the Civil War, I think? Something like that? I'm not really sure. I've apparently played this mod before once, but it's been so long I don't really remember it, so it is what it is. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day, and let's go through and see if we can win this German Civil War. Hopefully we can. Beat those bad other people up as much as possible. And you guys head over here if you can. If not, that's okay. We're losing fuel anyways. Um, really, just like normal. German Civil War stuff, pretty easy. Just split them down your Czechoslovakia and then just kind of have your way with them. So, if we get München and Augsburg, we'll be fine. Uh, no. Expulsion takes heavy toll on Oberbayern. And eh, whatever happens. Hey, look. At um, this point, I want the tanks to go fast. Regensburg would be good. Thank you very much. Please do not let them move around. You guys do that. Just go over there and take, beat them up. I want the tanks to do whatever. There you go. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, they wanted to encircle us up. All right. Let's go over here. How would I, oh, both of you guys get over? Oh, uh, well, you're doing that already. So, whatever. Tanks will be fine. If they're beating us up here just a little bit, that's fine. Whatever. doesn't really matter. Um, we're still attacking him down here over here. Okay, well, whatever. Doing a very good job. Really don't care. We're led by Hustle by Montoyful. Obviously, we do have well, Max and Actually, I've already got a war economy, so we can build up ourselves a little bit more, but then again, it is what it is. Uh, Ethiopia's gone. Goodbye, Ethiopia. Have a good day or life or whatever you had. Wow. Five divisions there. Holy crap. So then Germany will fall first, which would be great. Uh, second, London Navy Treaty signed. Pretty normal stuff. Also, we're doing the focus for your plan. Um... We already did oppose Mr. Schmittler. Hitler's reign must come to an end. He, must, he means to provoke, or provoke the Western powers by remilitarizing the Rhineland. But doing so will give us the excuse we need to seize power with the help of the loyal elements in the Wehrmacht. We need an ambitious plan to provide for the rearmament and ultimate self-sufficiency of the nation. This should be achieved within the next four years. Followed up with... Actually, I think I'm just going to go army innovations, maybe... I kind of like autarky, though. Yeah, let's do autarky. For Germany to be truly great, it must be self-sufficient. We must make better use of our resources and become more efficient in our, in our construction. Oh, we have Ransom Divisions. Nice. Go ahead, guys. Move on in. That'll be great. Go on in, guys, too. There you go. These guys are stopping for supplies, which is great, great, great to see. And what are the tanks up to? Ah, good rifles. Or guns, or whatever we have. Um, let's go Land Doctrine. Mobile Warfare, please. Delay Doctrine. Thank you very much. And Output. I didn't mean, do Output first. Wow. That's, that's kind of rare for me not to do that. Huh. Alright, whatever. Cool, six divisions. Oh, no, that's eight. I can count, I swear to God. I swear I can count. Eight divisions here, huh? Well, now it's six. Now it's soon to be five or four. Wow, are they doing last... They must be doing last stand. Look at that. Oh, they're doing last stand, probably. Ah, oh, the Soviet Volunteer Department. The Propaganda Department of the USSR has used stage photographs to boast about the success of the glorious socialist heroes fighting the false Nazi socialists. Given the exaggerated success of the volunteers, the Soviet High Command decided to follow it up with the formation of a new department, tasked with the registration, training, and management of willing individuals who would like to assist the communist ideals in foreign conflicts. Also, surely strengthen their influence on future incidents by a great margin. They grossly overestimated their contribution. And we do have Soviet influence right now, which kind of sucks, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, let's see. Actually, it'd be probably pretty good to attack right here. So we can encircle them, right? Maybe? Maybe not. For your plan, um, I want to go autarky. I like autarky. Alright, help them out, help them out. And actually, let's get our plans in the air to just follow these guys around. I'm not worried about the north too much. There you go, that's looking pretty darn nice, not gonna lie. Ah, very good. Alright, boys, since you're here, Frankfurt is a frontline city, huh? Well, so much for that city. Oh, they're actually beating us up, huh? Interesting. Ah, I got another division in there, and they will not succeed. What are, okay, do something here. Oh, great war hero. Very nice. Uh, oh, that's not bad. I'm not sure if we're going to actually lose any of these people. We might lose people here. Um, so, I don't want to do anyone here just yet. So, yeah. Let's give it a break first. Alright. If anything, we're probably going to attack here. And then go right. Bing bong. 
I love tanks, man. Such speedy boys. Losses of 10,000 versus 133,000. Yeah, not bad. There you go. Good luck. Pretty nice. Workers threaten strikes. Workers have taken their outrage to the streets, heavily criticizing the extra workload during the Civil War. Now they demand immediate reforms and more power once the war is over. Do they know what is at stake? Obviously not. But let's go over here and get some more army XP then. Uh, is he just going to switch around with us? Yeah, actually, why would we choose von Manstein? Yeah, 5% more mobile warfare doctrine, but we get 10% here and more max speed. Like, I don't understand why would we ever choose the other one. Hey, look at that. Good job, guys. Good job. Now they're going to be freaking out, which is fine with us. Give them some time to freak out, and then we'll probably do general attacking call it a civil war. Hmm, it's a little ahead of time. Ooh, I always do carriers. You know what? I want to go big. I want to get some fat battleships for this campaign. I like the battleships. I want some thick, heavy b battle daddies. <laughs> uh, Alright, give us a second here. I don't know what they're doing, but, you know, just let them start. Okay, I'm, I'm tired of waiting. Let's go. There you go. I want some thick battle daddies. When in doubt, battle daddy it out. And then we'll just do a general tech of this direction with leading... Led by the tanks. Ten divisions go bye bye. Huh? Oh, goodbye. Um, we'll probably start it over here. Oh, Weimar's over there. I thought Weimar wasn't Western Germany for some reason. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Socialists and communists unite. Out of the blue, communists and hardliners of the Socialist Party have announced closer cooperation, giving them a dangerous amount of influence and followers. This must be the result of Soviet underground work. We must take proactive steps before things get worse. Not gonna touch that. Socialist Einheitspartei Deutschlands, huh? Alright, alright. Hey, more factories, nice. We were making. Eh, we should have guns. Here, do that one. And do that too. There you go. Uh, you might as well just head down here and circle them. There you go. Well, we'll go to Berlin, go to Stetten, go to. Oh, we can't get to over here too, huh? It's alright. Why don't you go to Breslau, because that'll be the capital next, probably. I have to take Berlin, of course. Berlin. Or just go there now. Hey, look at Spain. Nice job, Spain. Niederschlesen. And we've got Breslau already. Nice. Losses. 26,000, 27,000 versus quarter million. Kind of extreme, but hey, we kind of like it like that. When in doubt, become very extreme. Now, I don't think that we'll be able to do another 70 day focus because we'll win. Let's do naval rearmament because I almost never choose this one. The Anglo-Saxon or Anglo-German naval agreement was secured in 1935. It allows us to expand our navy greatly. We should spare no effort in doing so. I'm just worried that we won't get this one done and the focus is supposed to change I think once we win or, or something like that, so... Ah, yes. No, nothing here? Okay, that's disappointing. Ah, Berlin. Initiated labor union negotiations. To counteract the momentum of the leftists, we have begun taking steps towards work appeasement. At the work under, as it worked under Bismarck, so why shouldn't we take the first steps once more? One of the core demands of the workers was further limiting the maximum work hours per day. The more reforms we grant, the less attack vectors the leftists will have. This will hinder our productivity, though. Issued a limited time decree. <clears throat> you bunch of lazy, and this is not time for being lazy. Oh, we'll do this one, why not? And we've got them, my friends. Yeah, really not that bad. So, this is a tree, tree actually change. Uh, okay, then. Nazi leadership captured. Hitler found dead. The capture of Berlin. Our troops discovered the corpse of Hitler in a bunker in the city. Choosing death over seeming anti fascist elements to take over the country, the event leader eventually took his own life rather than risk capture. And instead, a big daddy Heinrich Gamer Himmler has now stepped up to lead the Nazis. His authorities affirm the government will not abate in their fight against anti German treason. It's the beginning of the end for the Nazis. Well, they're dead. A Nazi leadership captured. At long last, we have freed our country from the grip of our enemies, and these loyal citizens who rose up to support our cause may now finally return to their home. As a nation, we may begin the long and arduous process of rebuilding our nation. The country's leadership, in turn, is free to begin looking ahead at what might be done in the future. Democracy or return to the old monarchy, which I prefer, but we're not going to go down that route. One last thing remains to be taken care of, however. With the end of the Civil War, our troops have managed to capture a large group of Nazi leadership. Now there only remains the decision what to do with the unsavory part of our recent history. Um, hang them? I kind of want to do that, but imprison them for life. They might come in, uh, useful for the future. And we need some political power, so. And getting more fascism will help to lower communist support, so. Actually, is it going down anyways? Oh, it's still going up, unfortunately. 
All right, so now that's been done, we'll probably do a bright future next. 28 day focus. Hitler and his goons are gone. Our nation's free once more. It's time for the men to go home, celebrate and mourn our fallen heroes who gave their life for the cause. But first, we must put those who are guilty to justice. Cool. The left demands recollectivization. The Nazi party has absorbed countless business and factories under their greedy hands after their rise to power. The people now demand compensation and at least a transfer of some of the factories to the unions, private or otherwise. Or union-based businesses have shown to be more effective in the long term. Uh, this measure will put a heavy initial strain on the economy, however. No other belong to the state. Whatever pleases a mob. Uh, controlled conglomerates. Uh, kind of sucks. Eh, whatever pleases the mob, I guess. Eh, we'll see what happens. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I want to go as reformist as possible, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to go down the route for... I want to go super heavy battleships. Um, the Kaiserreich. We're not going to bring back Kaiserreich. Unfortunately, it sucks, I know. But I already did that route once, apparently, so... Mm, Autarchy. I'm glad we got Autarchy still. And what do we have over here? Anything unique? Special different? We're just trying to make more... Sh oh, what? No. Huh. Underground network discovered. We received intel that there must be several smaller underground cells operating from the shadows across Germany. The consensus is that they are up to something. All strings seem to lead towards Moscow. There are also reports of weapons and ammo thefts which have been falsely assumed to have been carried up by Nazi sympathizers. It looks like the network is using the chaos of the Civil War to prepare themselves for something bigger. We should infiltrate those cells and slowly take them over from the inside. At least we know what is happening now. How much equipment do we have? Uh, ooh. Underground network, daily political power, weekly stability, and daily economy support goes... Oh, Jesus Christ, that sucks. Um, here. I don't want any guns in the reserves right now. That's good. Not gonna touch up. Use German city names. Why would we not use German city? Promote these people. Sharpen air safety regulations. Eh, I'd like to do that, but nah, we're not gonna do that one. They have a rearmament. Yay! Just in time for the Civil War. Okay, so after this one, Games of the Olympiad. Um, where was this? The Games of Symbol of Renew. Newly rebuilt Germany. Holy crap. The Olympic Games were recently held undamaged parts of the devastated and newly rebuilt Germany. Holy crap. Rebuild the nation? That'd probably be good to do. Stabilize the nation, though. I don't want any more uh, stability to go down during the week. It's not going to go down for now. Real politique? I like that political power, but we can't do that yet. Um, this one looks like this could all wait. But you don't want to know, understand. Rebuild the nation is nice and all, but stabilizing the nation seems better. And by the time you get all the stuff done through here, like... There's no point to do that one. Or there's less po less of a point. Well, I guess stabilize the nation, because we do want to go down this way as well. Uh, the Aftermath. Second Deutscher Bund. That'll be nice to do eventually. Um, consolidate the Bund. And we'll go down Kanzler, Free Suffrage, and Reforms to get down to Gross Deutscher Bund. But stabilize the nation. Everyone is still on high alert, and people fear that our junta wants to keep the power. We have to make sure that people feel safe again if we want things to go back to normal. We should start by guaranteeing the various rights that people enjoyed during the Republic, as well as elections for the ministries down the line. For now, Mackinson will take over the role of Reichswehrwasser, just like Hindenburg did. Lose war support, but get more stability at least. Zentrum, democracy, um, get more political power. You lose weekly stability, which is just god awful. God awful. Provisional government of Germany, but it could be a lot worse. Point one is not that bad, so. Uh, anything else here? Not really. You get 0.82 every single day. So the not bad, though. All right. All right. We got a lot of PP. What do we want to do here? Anyone here? I want to get more political power, like always, but... Uh, not involvement. Um, you know what? Let's we'll do industry stuff. I like industry. And synthetic refinery, too. Volunteer divisions disbanded. Now that the war is over, the Soviet high command has called the Volga Germans home. The majority of them, however, has expressed their desire to stay in Germany and be, to be repatriated. After releasing the ones too old or unfit for military service from duty, we would still be left with a sizable amount of fit men for regular service, if we let them stay. If they go, they will be resentful towards us and will therefore be a valuable asset for the Soviet propaganda. I think at last, last time I let them stay, they earned their welcome. Let them go, many of them cannot be fully trusted. Uh, you know what, let's do something different this time. Operative slots, lose some stuff. Pass on the torch. Has spirit underground network infiltrated. Well, hmm. Ignite the spark aftermath. Well, I guess. Eh, I guess we do this one. It makes more sense to do this now, anyways. Rebuild the nation. Hitler's so called patriots had nothing better to do than sabotage their own people when they knew they had lost. Central and East Germany's line ruins. Bridges are broken and railways destroyed. It'll take some time to rebuild. Objects can be easy to repair, but it's the soul and spirit of Germany that'll take time to heal. And then, uh, ooh. Yes, industry, good. Uh, ship stuff, ship stuff, ship, ship, ships. Increase their speed and get some radio. 
under your network infiltrated. After several smaller sabotage missions and thefts, our agents have proven themselves. This has earned them the trust of the cell leadership and granted them entrance into the inner circles. This will diminish your chance on a critical success in the future. We should now be able to steer their attention towards our other goals. We have also gathered intel which suggests that Stalin was planning to prolong the civil war long enough to stage a communist coup once the whole country would be sufficiently weakened. It's underestimated us. Nice. Awesome. Uh, pass on the torch. Yeah, we'll do that one next. By accepting the help of the Soviets, their weapons, and their volunteers, we've opened a doorway to Western Europe. The radical left in Germany has used this time to organize and supply themselves. We've successfully infiltrated their operations. Given their failure to slow down the civil war, now they now lack a clear objective. We should give them one by planning dreams of a French commune. Ah, we love French communes. Hey, look at all this stuff. Nice. Um, you guys are pretty garbage, I'll be honest. Pretty god-awful. Um, we guess come over here. Just unify all these guys. I'm not even going to look at what they have. Uh, actually, go there. G, combine them. Rebuild the nation, might as well, right? Pass on the torch. And then Das Deutsches Vaterland. Ooh, do we get more... Actually, more civilian construction people. We want that one next. Hitler's doctrine has divided our nation. His vision for a greater Germany still prevails, but his ill-fated hate against the Jews has tainted our legacy. We'll have to go back to old values. As Ernst Moritz Ant wrote in 1813 in his famous song, everyone who speaks German is a part of our nation. Soviet, uh, Soviet, Soviet, die Deutsche Zung klingt. Religion does not matter. Let us show to this world by making it our anthem. Alright, so we got a lot of guys here. There you go. And, there you go. 16. Ah, oh, that's a bit too much. That's a bit too much. And go bing bong. Do. There we go. We really don't have a lot of ships here, do we? No, we do not. Um, Positioning. Oh, slightly less damage, Craven. Boeing. It's fine. Uh, that's pretty much all I'd ever do to separate you guys. There you go. Pass on the torch. And dust Deutsche Vaterland. I'm probably saying that wrong. But it is what it is. Um, also, before we get too far, let's see where, where are our soldiers. You guys... Let's put you over here for now. Okay. I enjoy the tanks, though. Tanks are very nice. Here, do them against Poland, because no one likes Poles, right? We'll see what happens. Uh, Austrian friendship, daily democracy support. Uh, do we want that? I guess we do. Uh, we get boom member, we lose political power, but we get better consumer goods factories. We'll wait to do this stuff, so. Austrian friendship. After showing to our German neighbors that we still believe in a pan-German solution, we should follow up by building close relations between our states. I hope we get to annex them. We probably won't be able to, but I hope so. Realize European unity. We'll probably actually won't be able to get down that way. Um, you know what? Do that anyways. That'd be fine. That's, that's fine. We're going to get a lot more guns. We're going to get a lot of guns and support equipment. Holy crap. Uh, go up to four. There you go. Build more civvies for now. Because we want to make sure our industrial base is still okay. Dust, switch, and vital land. Oh, man. Conjugation of all that stuff. The verbs and tenses. Someone's got to teach me how to do that stuff again. <laughs> um, hydrophones, it's fine. We can wait on that, especially for big ships. Um, I want a mixture of cruisers and destroyers, so. Let's go with sonar for now. Oh, we got enough political power, too. You know what? I did say I want to do this, so. Let's, oh, deck size. Ha less capital ship attack? Yeah, it's just not worth it, man. Let's do that one. Get more research speed. I'm really focusing on the Navy for some reason right now. But after Austrian friendship, second Deutsche Bund. Yeah, we might as well. The first iteration of the German Confederation existed between 1850 and 1866 as a successor of the dissolved Holy Roman Empire. It removed trade barriers and gave security. We should enter another Bund together with Austria and all other German states who want to join. Very good. Alright, any other planes? Standing by. Uh, all these other planes are... Oh my gosh, why are there so many planes here? Yeah, just, just die planes. Cool. Goodbye. A thousand here. Uh, 69, very nice. And cast. Oh, we're not going to use uh, tactical bombers in this campaign because it's cast or nothing. Uh, fighters, bombers. Yeah, that'd be nice and all, but. Here, you guys come out too because we'll probably use you guys. We'll see what happens though. I want a lot. Um, yeah, just keep training them. It's fine. More manpower, nice. Do we have four more divisions? Oh, look at that. There you go. You guys will be fine. I want to make sure we have another army here just in case. Um, nice one. Led by Von Vikes, because why not? Actually, can we send volunteers? I doubt we can send volunteers to these guys. Yeah, we can. We need more world tension, which sucks. You need 30 divisions? Oh, we're close, but we're not quite there yet. 
Nice. Happy 1937, everyone. Let's get some more output, because we can always use more output, for, especially for tons more guns. We have plenty of motorized, though. Huh. There you go. Second Deutsche Bund. Revive Abteilung 3B. Abteilung 3B was a secret police of the Kaiserreich. It was not very well developed and almost irrelevant during the First World War. We should not make this mistake twice. We should learn from this mistake and properly rebuild our legacy, or agency. We should also start by supplying ourselves within the German-speaking parts of the French border region. Oh, yes, please. Followed up with the Ignite the Spark, probably. We have assembled and equipped, uh, equipped quite a large amount of willing Germans within the border region for militia. Some of our agents, as well as a large portion of the infiltrated communist network, are ready to incite local riots against the French government. We've also gathered enough compromising material that would link the operation to Moscow. All we need to do is now Ignite the Spark. Or we'll do this one. You know, let's Ignite the Spark first. This is Leitania. Well, that was the name of the Austrian lands of the dual monarchy of Austria-Hungary. We should recognize those lands as part of our close friend Austria before we can take steps in actually reclaiming them. We should limit them anyhow to the core lands in order not to disturb any more neighbors than necessary. This should greatly enhance our chance of success. Also, um, I do want to let you know that we are on historical, I think I've said that already, but using Pedal Peace Conferences as well as Station Shatuma because you never know what could go right or could go wrong. Ah, oh, democracy. Not even once. Cool. Anyways, um, just in case uh, we'll see get some more cap too nice keep making more savings we need a bigger industry yesterday we're we still in war we're still in war economy though that's actually really nice I'm really glad I went to here before I did anything else nice can we actually help you guys out or something or, or a request from Alsace Rain it was a German territory from 1871 to 8 1918, and a stage driven at its core. The breakout of the French Civil War has left the region mostly unimpacted as they have refused to pick a side. Local leaders have proposed that we use the situation to restore the position of the German sphere. We have most welcome solution or suggestion. Willkommen zurück. Exploit the situation and try to shorten the border. It is now a core of us. So that's a war between us and Nansisch. That really looks like it's going to hurt them quite a bit. We should not give the French any reason to stop fighting themselves. Oh, God. That sounds so good. I wanted I want to do this one. But if you get oh, try to shorten the border. Um actually that seems like this one seems like the one you should push 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 push. I th oh, I want these guys too, but I think we'll do the top one. We'll just make it simple and plain easy. There we go. Nice. Just as God intended. And it's a core of ours, so I'm look I'm thinking that's pretty good. Cool. And we want to make sure we got also here. And there goes Iberia. Or I guess just Spain. Not, not, Portugal's fine for now. I'm sure they're suffering from their own stuff, but international outrage. Today, Mackinson presented stacks of incriminating evidence accusing the Soviet Union of not only carrying out sabotage against Germany, but also heinously provoking the Civil War in France. Headlines across the Western world are already portraying communism as the face of evil and subversive ideas. Multiple neighboring nations have expressed gratitude towards Germany, calling it a bastion against radicalism. The relations between Germany and the Soviet Union have been shattered irreparably, irreparably after the event. Payback, you dog. The French Civil War reaches Switzerland. Yay! All um, communists have occupied the French part of Switzerland and proclaimed their own communist republic as part of the French commune. If we act fast enough, we can secure the rest of the country. Otherwise, the fire might catch on. Send a few regiments and let it be known that they're under our protection. Nice. Don't mind me. Just building roads. Just building roads here. Uh, ease Austro-Italian tensions. Um... I don't like this one. The Austro-Italian relations have seen better days and have been scarred by wars lately. We should ease those tensions by recognizing Italian claims on Dalmatia while relinquishing the Austrian claims on the Italian-dominated portions of South Tyrol around Bolzano. and Bolzano. Bolzano. Um, oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Oops, wrong one. Also, we're not doing the focus yet just because I want to get enough political power first. So... Ban the Communist Party. We should use a situation to ban this malicious party once and for all from the list of viable parties. Given the situation, this shouldn't cause too much of an uproar. It's also time to finally apprehend all subversive elements of the German cells which still operate in Germany. A ban seems harsh. It'll surely fed up now that the leaders are gone. Let them rot in the dark. Um, that's not very democratic. So, actually, I'm probably going to go with the ban seems harsh. So, Alright, let's do this one too. I I'm ignoring all the industry build up stuff, which is probably really, really bad to do, but whatever. Um, Cabbage Revolutionary, Anti Fascist Dude. Is this seriously all the people? Oh, we saw Albert Speer. I'll bully you. get you first. Italian Exchange. Sure. There are more equally populous areas in Switzerland that are more Italian and more German areas in Italy that should be exchanged to the respective nation states. Oh, do that auction. Great. Hmm. 
nice. All this stuff is coming along, and 38. It's still 37. So we still have time to build ourselves up a little bit more. Super heavy battleship poles. Oh, thank. Sign me up, man. Super heavy battleships. Anti air 2 is great. Fire control 0 is fine. No radar yet, which is fine. Secondary stuff. Any armor? Nope. And throw in more anti air. You know what? Secondary batteries, we'll throw on one. More anti air. Do we have these level 2 yet? Yes, we do. Oh, we don't have enough. God dang it. Army XP. Keep training, boys. Oh, you have no... Oh, no. Well, that's the case. We can buy one thing of fuel, right? That should help out just a little bit. Italian exchange. Not sure what else we can do over there, so we're going to come over to the left side now. Let's go ahead and do some state-controlled industry. We must rid ourselves of the fickle influence of private capitalists. So therefore, we will form an industrial conglomerate under our control to oversee growth from the mining and steel sectors. As this will form the backbone of our military industry. We really need them civvies. Uh, limit exports. I like to go to close economy, but oh well. I don't like any of this stuff, really. Plane stuff? Uh, it's really no 1940 we need that. Artillery, our tank stuff. Hmm. Mauser, I guess. Why not? Cool. Not too bad. Not too bad. Do we have enough divisions yet? No, we have, like, 29. So now, hopefully they'll get... Well, let's know who gets that one. Dalmatia, huh? Alright, they have a claim. Well, whatever. After this one, Volkswagen. I want more civvies. We need more civvies. We need more industry. We will allow our citizens to purchase their own future people's car through a savings scheme in which we will, in turn, we will use to finance the construction of the factories that will eventually contribute in building these cars. Because I do want to get research slots as fast as possible, too, so. Hey, construction. Let's grab some of that stuff, too. That'd be good. Alright, keep training, guys. Keep training, training, training. Um, we don't have any guns. Artillery is nice, but we don't have enough of that just yet. So I'm gonna make these guys even thicker. There you go. Hey, they won. Nice. That's fine. Shang Chi has done their job and done an okay job. Well, are these guys killing each other yet? Not yet, actually. Huh. All right. Just man to the Magino line. Uh, use German city names. Of uh, von Prussia. I'd love to do that, but we're not gonna do that one for this campaign. Uh, proof of working conditions. Actually, we, we could get more stability. I don't mind that one. I, I don't mind getting these guys as generals, too, eventually, too. So, Where are the planes? How are they doing? Yeah, make more. Troubling news. The recent civil wars have also rekindled tensions in Belgium. The surprising victory of the French commies led Wallonian nationals to consider reconsider their chances. Hoping for a French backup plan, combined with other communist activities, this one has created a very volatile cocktail. Keep an eye on this uh, thing. Rise in Belgium. A mix of Wallonian nationalists and communist sympathizers have gone out in the streets. Buildings are burning and fronts are forming. With the Belgian army safeguarding the French border, the situation is slowly getting out of control. There are already public calls for French support in case of a large revolt. Let's see what happens. And kaboom! Dutch intervention! What? Dutch! After the public announcement of popular figureheads of the French commune that they were certainly back their brothers called arms should such a need arise, the government of the Netherlands showed her outrage. As a response, they have guaranteed to help the culturally close Flanders in any case. As the power catch is waiting to explode. Ah, let's hope it does. Request from Luxembourg. Today we received a plea from the uh, government of Luxembourg. They fear that the French Revolution might once more affect the small state. They fear a full-scale war between the French commune and the Wallonia against Flanders and the Netherlands. Given the unpredictable nature of the communism and the possibility that they could be helplessly dragged into another war, they have decided to choose a side. They place, they place their future in hope in their hands. How can we turn our brothers away? Sure, why not? Palais de la Nation de partially destroy. Today, some radicals stormed the Belgian parliament in Brussels. It is unknown whether they had nationals or communist intents, since all attackers were killed during the ensuing firefight after the say set fire to one of the eastern rooms. Firefighters cr cr rushed quickly to the scene, but managed to only save about one-third of the building. Leopold III and the royal family fled to the Netherlands as a precaution. A war seems inevitable at this point, though the Netherlands might have to follow through with their promise after all, and the pro trouble in paradise. The French Civil War wasted a lot of resources, and many colonies began reorganizing local resistance. France is not under in supply and are barely able to keep them from revolting. If they do not manage to, so, so, to secure a supplier of guns, they might have to make some concessions to somebody. Ha, they won't be able to wage another war time, anytime soon? Well, we'll see about that. Extraction is nice. Planes are nice. Uh, I could do that one first, why not? Invitation from the UK. The British are worried that such a conflict between France and the Netherlands could spell the end of the entire nation of the Netherlands. This will greatly disrupt the control of the English Channel and remove two important trade partners. They want our help during the conference to put aside enough 
We put enough outside pressure on both parties. This conference might look like a last ditch attempt to prevent a war, but in reality, it is nothing more than an attempt to preserve their influence in Europe. We decline. We absolutely decline. The London Conference. The question of Belgium it will be decided upon by the present powers of France, Germany, the UK, and the Netherlands. All acts of violence are strongly forbidden during the nation and of the conference. France represents the interests of Wallonia, while the Na Netherlands speak for Flanders. With that said, let us address the elephant in the room. Belgium is a failed nation. Just don't tell, uh, Taki Senpai that. The first draft of the Treaty of London. The breakup of Belgium is inevitable at this point. All participants agreed that upon in which Wallonia will therefore become part of France while having increased levels of autonomy. Flanders will become an independent nation which will retain parts of the Congo. Burundi and Rwanda will be ceded to Great Britain while the north of the Congo will be part of the French colonies. The small province of Oypen will be returned to Germany. Buffer states are out there anyways. Ah, as it should be. Aftermath. The French Civil War has ended and the international community is still processing the fallout. It's created some issues which we should address sooner or later. The Netherlands is not satisfied, of course. Why would they be? The representatives of the Dutch would rather opt for a reintegration of Flanders and the Netherlands, which would be strongly rejected by the French Commune. In exchange for the benevolence of us in the UK, they would give the Flanderian part of the Congo to the UK, and see the eastern parts of the Duchy of Limburg as well as a scarcely populated border strip of Frisia to us. If we agree to these terms, the French Commune probably won't listen to our mediation in the future. I kind of like that. We get Limburg, and we get Spa. We agree to these terms. Um, I, 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 I want to do it. I, I've got to do it. I've got to go. i got to push. The final treaty of London to France and the good stuff. Cool. Begone, Belgium. Now that's nice. Now that's really nice. I'm sorry, guys. I had to do it. If my finger slipped. I swear my finger slipped. Oh, do we have... Where, where do we have... Oh the, oh, the Dutch parts. Okay, we don't have these cords. I'm sorry, guys. It just... I'm pretty sure I chose this one last time too, but I just have to. I just have to do it like this. I just you just can't play Germany and say, I don't want to increase my borders. You know? France directs to deal with the Soviet Union, which is fine with us. Due to lack of options, France decided to approach the Soviet Union who was willing to sell weapons to France if they were to adopt Soviet inspired policies as well as take a pro Soviet stance on the international stage. Enemies everywhere, luckily we are they are so weakened. I'm sorry, it just looks so much better this way. I'm sorry, but you know, we want all Germans in with us, right? Ah, look. Uh, French refugees. During the French Civil War, and especially during its end, various French citizens have fled into our country. Among those crowds of worried people were also scientists. Scientists that could very well aid in our research. If we let them help, we could also risk the, increase the risk of molds through. What should we do? Let them do what they do best? Give them some ordinary jobs. Let them do what they do best. Worried outlook? Uh, consolidate the boom. The German boom has been reforged and has been growing since then. Before we can tackle further steps which would determine common laws and values, we have to solve the question of leadership. But only after we do Volkswagen. Hey, they're killing each other. Nice. Don't we need 50% here? We do need... God dang it. Oh, we're not allowed to send volunteers. God, are you... <laughs> Why do you pain me so? Why does democracy suck? Depth charges are nice, though. Um, we can wait to do this one for later. Um, anything for cannons, turrets, anything like that? No. All right. We're still doing our land doctrine. We're doing this stuff very well. Um, probably grab some of this stuff. We might grab some signal companies, too. But we'll see what happens as we are out of support equipment. Which is El Succo. You guys are not great, though. Alright, make sure you guys are like this. We'll use these light tanks for quite a while first before we actually change them out, so. Um, make these light tanks, too. I don't want to lower our armor too much. This armor kind of sucks. Excavation's nice. Let's grab some more excavation, too. Why not? One, two, not bad. Three, pretty good. And we're still in war economy. Just don't let anyone else know that, uh, <laughs> we're in war economy already. Um, anything else? Ooh! Yeah! Heavy cruisers, yeah, we love heavy cruisers. Train. Just, just train. We need more, as much naval XP as possible. We have five air XP, too. That's not too bad. Of course, we did hurt ourselves with improving working conditions, but that's okay with us. Uh, since you're here, you can train anyways. You guys, you should still be training. And you guys, keep training as well. Because the French, they're going to be probably built up pretty darn well by the time the war breaks out. And we'll see what happens with Poland. But yeah, getting these extra civvies and getting another research slot will be super beneficial. What is Italy going to do then? Because they're like the last real fascist power. I mean, yeah, Japan is fascist technically, but are they really? Maybe. Volkswagen will be good to get done. Any more planes? Are we done training them yet? What's going on here? Train if they need to. You are done.
Cool. So you three are pretty much done. You guys go here. Volkswagen, and I'm sorry, I've, I've got to get this one next. E X research slot. Our industrial expansion and other recent advance might allow us to conduct more R&D in parallel. Makes sense. And I think I did complain, and my Discord server knows already. But, like, you can't get through all the everything that you want before the war breaks out, so we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens next. Um, Promises of Peace. I, I always hate that one. Um, I press censorship. I love press censorship. This is still going up barely. Uh, communism, fascism is going down more. Not a line though is going up, really. Alright. Um, Donia, Flockwolf. I mean, it's just the best to use this one. It really is, but we're not using carriers, so... It's just, it's just always the best one to choose. It's always the best one. Okay, so I think we're going to be done guarding Prussia for now. Just because there's only so much supply you have there, so it's probably best to wait. One, two, three is not bad. Soon we're going to start making some millies instead of civvies. Um, get some more fuel. Yeah, really focus on fuel for now. All right, so here is what we're gonna do. We gotta separate you over here. Um, who is over? Also over here. Uh, Von Hell, yes, Von Hell. Winter expert. Um, hmm. The fences should be always be okay. Go scavenger this time. You'll be fine. And now you come over here. There you go. This is the way we can set and forget. I don't want to deal with them later on. Cut student. Henrici. I always choose Henrici because he's a pretty good general. And Blaskovitz. Oh, uh, actually, what do you have? There you go. Set and forget. I don't want to think about you. There you go. Nice. Good stuff. Alright, dive bombing is very nice. Uh, it's, I'm gonna, you know, let's keep going this way. Oil processing. We need a lot of oil. And once it hits 38, we're gonna go and make another million as well. So, extra research slot. Then we'll come back over here. Oh, naval effort. Ooh, that's not bad. Get two more dockyards. 35 day focus. I uh, get bonus for destroyer and light cruisers and heavy cruiser models. But realistically, skill the new state would be fine. But oh, that's the other option. That's a normal option. So this stuff is all the different stuff. Rio Polo T, huh? We need more map. Oh god, we, let's get more manpower in the field immediately. Here, okay, do that. How much manpower do we have in the field? Oh, half a million now. Okay. So, as much as I want to do these two, uh, real politic is better. Because you get more political power and less advisor, political advisor costs. Things in Europe are once more in motion. We find ourselves in a position which we can use for to our advantage. We have to accept the current situation and work with it. Our actions must be quick and popular. Actually, you know what? Before the war ended, I probably should have went to, like, extensive mobilization. Just because trying to get more manpower now is going to really, really suck. So, I didn't realize that. Alright, these guys are going to kill each other. Mm, get some rubber too. Why not? Screw it. Really focus on the economy right now. And we're still getting more weekly uh, stability. Yes. We're, oh, oh, we're still losing weekly stability because of von Mackensen. Oh, that sucks. Um, yeah, more stability is nice. Free suffrage. Well, that looks pretty good, honestly. Census vote, which is okay. Um, I like this one. Tradition values is just, in my opinion, better. If you get dunk it up, which is okay. But the population is really nice. Reforms. You get political power and resource speed, but you don't get anything else. Like that sucks. Uh, since we're here anyways, we're going to do that one. Okay, I got radar too. Ah, whatever. Realpolitik, followed up with what? Eastern Europe. Start negotiations. The Polish corridor. Approach these guys. We'll consolidate the boon next. Discuss the future Czechoslovakia. Cool. New alliances. European Vanguard. Bundesvavasung. Yeah, I'll probably do that one next. Now that is clear who will lead the boon, it is time to undertake further steps towards unification. It's time for things to return to normality. Mackinson has served us well, but he's a warrior, not a politician. We need a different kind of guidance now. Let's start this process by passing a new modern constitution which will be valid for the entire confederation. Realizing a strategic weakness, the Yugoslavian Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize and expand its force. Significant money reserves have been set aside to cover the purchase, as the commission is traveling around Europe to look for new sources of fighters and medium bombers. Given the urgency of this issue, the Yugoslavians have insisted on immediate delivery or transfer plans directly from the producer. Divert fighter production to cover their orders. I like that. I always choose that one because it's so good. So, 26 days left. That's not too bad. And 1, 2, 3, up in 1938. But like I said, we're going to have to make some millies now. Uh, I'll go 2 millies at a time. Um, 70, 70, 70, 80. Yes. 1, 2, some, and then you're still making this one up, which is good. Very good. We still have no fuel, which sucks, but hey, it's okay. We'll build some civil since and blah, blah, blah. synthetic refineries soon enough. Do we know anyone's hurt? I will. I just wish they could like remove a lot of these guys because we can't do any of this stuff. Well, some of the stuff like Heinrich Himmler. We can't get Heinrich Himmler. I wish I could remove it, but 
Uh, oh, well. Uh, heavy tank, armor, uh, speed. I want speed. I'm going for speed for this one. Alright, it's 38. Let's grab some better guns off. Since we're here, too. Good hospitals are pretty nice. Ah, Father Centralization. Recent developments have shown that our nation must work uh, more together than ever before. In order to be a more effective body, we have to resolve the leadership question. The only other option apart from us would be Austria, who spearheaded the first Bund. Ever since the pow then, power equi equi equilibrium has changed. It is only fair that the success of Prussia now gets its turn. Ein Vision, Ein Volk, Ein Bund. 109 factories. Do we jump up at all? Buy one more. Nice. Not bad. And, oh! Wow, Spain actually won. Spain is looking for allies. After the Spanish Civil War, Spain is looking for allies that could help eliminate any other resurgence of radicals in Spain and supply them with weapons for further ambitions. Rumors have that they're in talks with the Soviet Union. Oh no! The common turn grows. Today, Spain and the Soviet Union announce close relations and mutual assistance. Keep an eye on this. Oh boy. Hey, look. The People's Republic of Spain. Jose Diaz? No, Ricardo de Albornoz. Cool. But we're currently doing Consular. The Chancellor should become the most powerful person in the state, Bismarck. Our cherished Iron Chancellor and founder of Germany has proved it. A constitutional monarchy is what we need. We can't risk the chance of having an incompetent monarch ru ruling our country. Having a qualified Counselor eliminates that risk. And <sighs> free suffrage, all oh, this is painful to do. Everyone should be able to vote, no matter the occupation or gender. Equal rights and equal opportunities for everyone. This will ease social tensions and men rifts, supposedly. This will bring ex this will bring exposure to the true pro potential of every citizen for the benefit of the Bund. Which is good to get, just because we do get some more civilian construction speed and less consumer goods factories. And <sighs> reforms. Oh, it's so painful. We should implement flexible and fast acting legal and we welfare programs that will help the masses and less fortunate. Let our institutions be the guiding light that lights path that guiding light that lights path while we march into a better tomorrow. Give more speed and political power is actually really nice to get, but still. Oh. Goodbye, Mac. So we've now Adenauer. Adenauer. I always say his name wrong. Girls to a boon. Let's at least finish this. Oh, we need to. Well, we can't finish this. Yeah, we need to discuss the future of Czechoslovakia. Oh. Oh, it requires all this stuff. So, I guess we do talk about the Polish corridor. A worried outlook. Not all things go as planned, and we are certainly not the exception. Recent developments have led to an unforeseen chain reaction. We're not. We are not how the whole situation will evolve. We're not sure. We are not sure how it will evolve. We have to be ready no matter what. Pretty much. Um, yeah. Getting the extra political power and research speed would be nice, though. Reforms. I guess if the people want it, we'll get some reforms, okay. Follow it up with what? The Polish, Polish Quarter, which I think I screwed this one up last time, if I remember correctly. Now it's coming back to me a little bit. Um, honestly, like, this stuff is all nice and all, but... Cold Liquefaction was not bad, I like that. Uh, I, ooh, uh, mm, it's already 38. I think we need to align these guys as fast as possible so they go darn our way first, so... Grossraumwirtschaft. We must prepare Germany for its destiny as a centerpiece of Europe. Our infrastructure will bind together the west with the east and the south with the north. Which I like the construction speed, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, we really need to start influencing these guys to become more democratic for now. And they're a pretty large minority of uh, people who support democracy here, which is nice and all, but we really guys get going down that way. Happy 38, like I said earlier, the radar. At least we have five research slots, that's nice. Oh, we got one million done? Nope. That means we need to get another one done too. Anywhere that's 80%, 70%, 70%, 70%, 80%, oh yes. Limburg, we love Limburg. Um, anything else here, really? No, not really. We could use more war support, but we got all the technology stuff done. Anything here? No, I mean, yeah, I guess we'll, I guess we'll with him, just because we get more military factory speed. Yeah, we need to get to war as fast as possible so we can go to extensive conscription. Oh my goodness, we need to be at war. Oh, oh, that stuff is good. Mm, nice, nice, nice. 38, 38. I kind of want to use signal companies, but then again, we've already converted some more divisions to 40 combat width. So we'll see what happens. Um, stuff is all okay. I want more cast. I want stuff like that. 1940 stuff. It's all ahead of time. That sucks. Just do that stuff then. After it. Getting more fuel. Look at that. Wow. That's weird. Very weird. Um, destroyer? Sure, there you go. You know what? You're going to be really slow. That's alright. And there goes the fuel we had. After this one, of course, we'll probably align at least Hungary. You know, Romania would be really nice to get, too. I think I'm going to do Romania first, just because we want that fuel. Romania is already in our sphere of influence, but we could easily get them further to our way of thinking and making them even more manageable in the future. We already did this one, so... Um, 
The Yugoslavian Air Force is currently holding trials for a new light fighter, according to our air attaché. Our newest model is poised to win, a formal request from the Yugoslavian government is expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer are strongly in favor of the sale, but there are national security concerns about selling your most modern equipment to the foreign country. Should permit the sale to go through? I don't care. Sure, why not? In the good interest of goodwill towards uh, the other nations. Yes, please. And China's... Well, still doing okay for now. Let's see how, let's see how long they last. You know, they did lose Beijing, but... Eh. That's not a good invite, so we... Oh, wow, this looking really bad here. Holy crap. Of course, we continue just training, 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 but still. Nice. Uh, start doing the Naval Doctrine then. Trade Interdiction? Eh, sure, why not? Actually... Bad coup. Oh, that's the Great Patrols first, it's fine. Um... And we are trying to trade some 40 combo with over here, so it makes sense. We just need a lot more military factors. One, two, uh, let's go three at a time then. One, two, three, then some, and then some. Cool, computer machine's nice. Uh, radar's coming along. Um, anything else? Not really, no. Special forces. If we're going to do anything ahead of time, it's going to be industry. I'm going to be real with y'all, it's going to be industry ahead of time. Other than that, anti-fascist agent. You do get more stability, which is pretty nice. I like that one. Converting stuff, I don't care for that one. Connect oh, connected citizen. Liberal journalists, more daily democracy support. We already have enough, so I'm not really worried about that. I don't mind the stability. If I'm going to do that, we'll probably go with Hans Oster. Hugenberg, Revive, Kaiserreich. That's not bad to get either. So, but I'm going to line uh, Romania first. And then we'll probably align Hungary too. Hungary's already in our sphere of influence, but we could easily sway them further to our way of thinking, making them even more easily manipulable in the future. Alright, since we're here, actually, I always get Shona. You know what? It's good in defense and fighting in cold weather conditions. When you say Shona, I'm thinking Tino immediately. I just realized he's a real person. What the heck is wrong with me? What the heck? No fuel? That's alright. Happens. Happens to the best of us. And we need to create our own faction. But we need to do with Poland. I don't want to screw up Poland because last time I screwed it up and I don't want to screw it up again. I want Danzig. I'd like to get all the stuff, but you know, obviously. Actually, we might be able to push for it. But after this, and to get the war economies, no. German war economy would be good. This stuff would be good as well, but we gotta keep going this way. Um, Polish Quarter. Ooh, new alliances. European Vanguard. But we do create our own thing down here. Uh, took you to Liv's investment portfolio if you want to bet this, please go ahead. Sure. We'll totally do it. Alright, uh, oh, look at this, nice. Actually, maybe do some more stuff here? Yes, please, thank you. Should have been doing this actually a long time ago. I'll uh, get some more of that stuff and get some more anti-air. It still lowers our speed by a little bit. We still have no radar, but that's fine. We gotta start really focusing on this stuff. That's nice, good. Get one from the Turks. There you go. And get one from the Dutch. Nice, there you go. Very good. Um, one, two, three. Build a synthetic refinery. Here. And do another one here, too. Um, 80, 70% is fine. R radar detection, good. Get the next one, too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Fourth International. We're still building up some civvies, which is fine with us. Align Romania, and then new alliances. Uh, we could. Currently, we stand alone, but we don't have to face the future alone. We should actively look for friends and allies. All those which are current. Courageous enough to join us will become part of the European vanguard, for if we fall, everyone else will succumb to a red menace that spreads like cancer all across Europe. And then we'll do the Polish Corridor. Prussia's been torn apart as a result of the Treaty of Versailles. Before we can take any steps towards a friendly and neighbor like uh, relationship, we have to address this issue and make Prussia whole again. Depending on how we conduct this reunification process, we might find new friends or new foes. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, t a fat 10% would be nice. At some point, yeah, political power doesn't mean jack squat, so. And that's not bad. 10% more stability is really nice. Even though I do want extra options, so I think I want to go Wilhelm Canaris just because I do want that. So, new alliances are nice, and Germanic neighbors. Swamp Germans. Scandinavian countries. Uh, oh, we can do Eastern Europe too. Uh, let's do this one first. We should not stop looking for allies just because they come from a different language or group or culture. The East is currently a raw gem that just needs some polishing and guidance in order to realize its true potential. There are some nations in particular that share our ambitions and want to challenge the cards they haven't dealt with. And then we'll finish off with this one. Deepen our ties. Invite newer and more members. We can get them with us, huh? Approach Hungary. Oh, so we'll get them under here too. That's not bad. But we'll do the Polish corridor. Nice. And... Two days left. Cool. 
and we'll probably do approach Hungary. Hungary suffered terribly from the Treaty of Trianon, seeing its lands taken away and its former pride stolen. They are keen on us regaining their lost lands. We have shown their close ties with Austria. We have to ensure that they do not intend on infringing on their claims in the process by formally recognizing them as Hungarian lands. Cool. But you know what, screw it. I'll let you guys decide. Should we go with... Probably not Ernst Tellman, because we're not going communist. Should we go with Albert Speer? Should we go with Hans Oster? Should we go with Theodor Haus? Uh, Conrad, I think it's Conrad von Neurath, or should we get Julius Leber, or should we go with Wilhelm Canaris? Please let me know in the comments below, but if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. We want to figure out who we're going to select as a political advisor, and hopefully increase our numbers in the European Vanguard. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.